Several residents of Lafia, the Nassau state capital at the square, cheering and showing support for the presidential candidate of the People's Democratic Party, Atiku Abubakar. He's promising to uplift Nasara's infrastructure if given the opportunity with the support to develop its solid minerals to boost job creation and public revenues. On his part, the PDP national chairman, Yocha Ayu, is urging members of the party who defected to other political parties to return and join the winning train as the PDP is poised for victory in the 2023 general election. And I have seen today that the party is back in one single piece. I came here and received many decampees, thousands and thousands of decampees. I am sure PDP is today a rock. Nobody can dislodge PDP again. Ladies and gentlemen, he also moved his campaign to the township stadium in just the Plateau State capital. While commending PDP supporters in the state, the Wazir in Adamawa is promising infrastructural development and employment for young people if elected president next year. We have promised that we will restore peace in this state. We will also revamp the economy of this state. We will also make sure this state is connected to the neighboring states as far as the road infrastructures are concerned. APC has neglected all the roads connecting Plato with other states in the country. We promise because you are a PDP state, we promise we will make sure these roads are rehabilitated. Some key players in the party say Nigeria can only get better if the PDP is returned to power to head the federal government. They didn't create change, they didn't manage change. And just as a capital of Plato and the entire Plato people, they suffered for it. Today, we are coming back to say we are coming for a rescue mission. We restore peace in Plato State. You have given us a sign that we are winning the elections here. APC took us down the hill. They took us to the very bottom. But now Nigeria will rise again. And PDP has given us the right leader who is able to turn things around in Nigeria for the good of all. Other candidates contesting on the PDP platform share their optimism that the party will win the 2023 general elections. I strongly believe that I can add value to providing solutions uh, to the insecurity going on in the country. The PDP presidential candidate Atiku Abubakar has been on a tour of the North Central geopolitical zone in the past few days, seeking to convince the electorate to vote him at the polls for the pledge to redevelop the region if elected president next year. Punarima Benjamin, Arise News.